Yeah, hello. Hello and welcome. Enjoy what plays Lonely Mountains downhill. Downhill. Um, Stormblade. Or, oh, we're done until we get the Geronimo there. Okay, let's go with the Five Finger Lakes. <clears throat> I'll give you a Five Finger, uh, what, like Death Punch? What is it called? Um, yeah, let's go with the boar here. <clears throat> Why not? Why not? Hope you're having a great day. Uh, hope your yesterday was good. I think this comes out. I was just setting all the <laughs> the videos scheduled. Um, but this comes out the day after Memorial Day. So happy Memorial Day to you. Hopefully, I don't know, maybe I get a day off today. <laughs> Look, it's not going to be a complaint video, okay? We got, we got enough of those on the internet. Um... Yeah, I, I'm making, making, uh, making, just like the, the magnum opus of 2020, well, it might have been 2019, of, uh, what's her name? Shoot. <laughs> give me a second, give me a second. It's gonna be an actual second. Alright, it's been five seconds. But Cardi B, the magnum opus. <laughs> of Cardi B from 2018. We're making money moves, all right? <laughs> uh, you can't F with me if you wanted to. These expensive, these red bottom, these is bloody shoes. Yeah, I'm gonna stop. Look. I don't dance now, I make money moves. <laughs> um, Alright, if, if you're done cringing, I'll continue on. 722, that sucks. Um, but yeah, I hope, uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, did you enjoy some barbecue? Um, I'm, I'm trying to think of like how Memorial Days went when I was a child. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure we just, like, we stayed at home and played video games. <laughs> uh, is it the one where the, the high school band does, like, a parade thing? And I, I was a, I was a part of the high school band, but I never really wanted to do the parades. I know, like, everybody looks forward to the parades, but I'm like, why would you look forward to waking up at 6 a.m.? to go to school on a day off so you can work for free I, I hmm <laughs> bruh <laughs> um I, I understand like people you know grow up watching these parades and they're like I want to be part of the band but I mean I guess at that point like it 15 years old, I've already been a part of like three bands and like played some bars and it's it's fine <laughs> Like I, I wasn't thirsting for a, I don't know and also like walking down the street with like somebody pushing a bass amp like plugged into a battery that was literally what the band director's idea was and I was like you know I'm gonna bow out. Is that all right? <laughs> I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool, dude. Like, uh, I'll, I'll play the concert band music. You know, just reading the charts already like kind of sucks. Like, it makes me feel like I, you know, like it, it wasn't. It, they're tuba parts. Why are you making me play tuba parts on a bass? You know, you, give me, give me some slap. <laughs> you know, give me some parts that, like, make sense for a bass guitar to play. But, you know... <laughs> Maybe I should have learned tuba. It's not a tuba. But, yeah, Memorial Day... Uh, definitely, or my, like, my parents are always about, like, grilling some chicken. Uh, didn't really care much for the chicken. Um... 
Because I, I, I don't know, there's something about grilled chicken that's like not, not as like amazing, like barbecue grilled chicken. Like it, I, I might be like making some of you guys hungry right now just by uttering its name. But it, it's definitely like not in my top three versions of chicken. <laughs> like creating chicken. Like, I, I almost prefer, like, chicken noodle soup. <laughs> and I know I'm just talking, like, blasphemy at this point. Um, but number one's definitely fried chicken. Like, a hundred percent. Like, there's no competition on the fried chicken. Especially if, it, like, if it's, like, Popeyes or... Uh, not, not so much, like, KFC. KFC is, like... I feel like they have like a, the way they make their chicken just makes it seem like it's just completely different. Like, it, it tastes like ramen seasoning <laughs> on their chick. Did we skip the checkpoint? Bruh. Um, yeah, KFC not quite part of the uh, the grouping here even like even fried chicken from like a Walmart or like a, like a giant eagle it's so freaking good um, you know eat it with some rice so you can dilute some of that oil or the oilage um, real good real real nice hey, that's that's my Filipino roots for you though there you go if you're if anybody was wondering at all if uh, you needed to fact check my Filipino ness. Is that a thing? Fil Filipino ness. You gotta, you gotta be dangerous. You gotta, it, it's dangerous phrasing. Filipino ness. Um. We're we're biking so carefully right now. Oh, <laughs> as I almost fall off a cliff. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. 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 Um, two minutes is about to pass. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, restart from the beginning. Uh, what was I gonna do? I, I don't know. I don't know, I give up. <laughs> restart the video. Cut it, cut it from the, cut it from the edits now, um, yeah, we're talking about top tier chicken, alright, oh, what's after fried chicken though, oh, it's gonna be a tough one, number two spot is like, it's gotta go to like, uh, like, I don't know, like a sweet sour, is sweet sour like, um, no, uh, I'm trying to think dude, like a rotisserie chicken? Like, if it's made right, rotisserie chicken might be, it, you might be saying, isn't that just a grilled chicken, but like over like an indoor oven? Yeah, <laughs> kind of. <clears throat> kind of. <laughs> but like, I'm just talking about like, I, like a, the main grilled chicken I don't enjoy. It's like drenched with barbecue sauce, you know, like, but the, the chicken itself is kind of undercooked. So like, you're already getting too much flavor on the outside, and then on the inside, it's like, mmm, this isn't that good. <laughs> and I, you know, props to, to uh, my mom, she's an amazing cook. Um... It, it, there were just a couple misses that I, I, I didn't have the uh, the guts to tell her. That it wasn't that great. Because <laughs> you don't tell your mom something that's not good. Like you, like you, and the actual embodiment of Lucifer. <laughs> you, you don't do that. <clears throat> like that's that's like that's, I I don't know that that's a. Uh, inexcusable 
inhumanity, I would say. I'm telling your mom that her food, her cooking sucks. You kidding me? You suck as a person. <laughs> uh, especially if, like, you know, if she, if she opened up the floor and was just like, is this good? I'll go, yeah. <laughs> In the exact tone, and then she'll be like, what? What, you don't like my cooking anymore? <laughs> it's, all the, all, it's all the McDonald's you've been eating. <laughs> That's too on brand. Oh my, I need to get my brother to listen to this. Um, <clears throat> you've been Americanized. <laughs> Oh, it's true though. It's kind of true. You know, the, the the item of choice, whenever I, um, th there were two places I went to when I started making money. I worked at a glue factory and worked, you know, like, in my young adulthoodness. <clears throat> it, this was prior to, like, because people don't understand, like, being a hipster, like, getting cool food. So you could take a picture and post on Instagram and grow your following and um, things like that. And grow your street cred. Like, look, I, I know where the cool places are. Uh, that's expensive, dude. <laughs> that takes research. It takes time. It takes money. And so on and so forth. Uh, none of which I had. Especially, you know, in my <clears throat> ad late adolescent years. And so, uh, the, the two spots, the, the, I don't know what that noise was, uh, the two spots that um, were frequented by myself and my buds, Taco Bell and Burger King. Yes. Look, uh, uh, no shade, no shade on the Taco Bell or Burger King. I still really like Taco Bell and Burger King. I understand they're low tier of fast food, but you know, you you uh, you show me a uh, Big Mac. Mm, okay, so Big Mac is <clears throat> that's a tough one, but you show me any other McDonald's item, and then put it right next to like uh, a Whopper. You know, I'm gonna choose the Whopper, <clears throat> but. I'm talking about my late adolescent years here, okay? I, we, I couldn't afford a freaking Whopper. What, you, what do you think? I made a, I wasn't born with a diamond spoon in my mouth. That's how it works. That's what it's called, right? <clears throat> um, that's how the phrase goes. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, but yeah, like, I... I went for the value menu every single time, and uh, guess what I would get? You know, yeah, you might have guessed it already. I'm talking about their spicy chicken crisp, crisp, and I would get like two or three of those, dudes. <laughs> it was, it's it just, uh, it was very satisfying food honestly it, it was like a piece of lettuce <laughs> chicken and spicy sauce and maybe like a mayo and it was uh just a buck which you might be saying i can make that for like 35 cents you are a hundred percent correct but was i as a late teenager gonna make myself food are you kidding me I wasn't that desperate. I wanted to go somewhere and hang out with my friends while eating a, a bunch of food. <clears throat> All right, you might be like, okay, so that's your that's your choice at Burger King. What what was your Taco Bell choice? I have to like dig back a little bit for this. Hold on. A cerebral cortex is loading, digging up the history files. Hmm. What what was really cheap at Taco Bell besides like everything? I think the Crunch Wrap 
Like, it was cheap enough. You know, the Crunch Wrap is basically like Taco Bell's Whopper, I would say. It's, it, it's got, it's got, it all. Oh, no, we were gonna make it, dude. Oh, that was the run. I, f okay, let's, let's just try it one more time. It's a freaking Taco Bell, man. <laughs> it had me, it had me going. They had a value menu. I remember, I remember very distinctly. Ah, uh, okay, I've got it now. It was a, uh, I would get the Gordito, Gord, Gordita? Uh, meal deal. The one that came with the little Doritos bag. You got the drink Doritos bag and then you got the Gordita. For, uh, for like a buck fifty or something. Really insane. And I'm like, alright, and there's my meal. <laughs> and, uh, if you stayed at the Taco Bell with the fountain drinks, you got unlimited drinks, dude. Like, it's living the life. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know, dude. They, that's, you know, that's, that's pretty, that sums up, like, a whole lot of my adolescent years. <laughs> He's just hanging out at Taco Bell or Burger King. <clears throat> you know, the, the later I got, you know, the, into my senior year, you know, we ventured into, like, you know, some Sonic and some Chick-fil-A. Oh. Taking the big bucks out of you. But, I mean, if we're talking just fast food in general now, though, like, if you're if you're gonna ask me where to go, I, it, when Wendy's a hundred percent, hundred percent Wendy's. <clears throat> just give me that uh, that original Dave's with the bacon. I think it's a, the number four. <laughs> and I'm trying to play coy, like I didn't order it like yesterday. Um, <laughs> Look, it's it's good stuff. I, I don't want the Baconator. It's a little bit too much. Uh, too much everything. And not enough burger. A.K.A. like the vegetables. I want, I, I'd still like the freshness of the, uh, the vegetables taste. Which, uh, which is something that Wendy's is actually really good at. Like, keeping... Like the taste, to, to, to taste, to taste, to taste this. I get down with your eyes. We don't want your headlines. We don't want your headlines. We just want. We want our airways back. You're gonna reference a Paramore song that's not like misery business. Like <laughs> uh, Paramore. Ugh. Okay, hold on. Focus. No! Are you... I, 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 <laughs> Two times in a row. But this one, this one hurts a little bit more. I, I just, I, I want like a, a small replay. Like, what did I get hit by? Ah. <sighs> I mean, you might as well get the the other time things. Like, you know, why waste the run? You know, just don't get tilted. You just focus, and you can do it the next time. Um, really, the the like this is like going, you know, one three against the Golden State Warriors. Like you, you might get that. 2018 comeback but also are you LeBron James <laughs> you are expecting to you know you're expecting yourself to be LeBron James and uh, you know sometimes you're just uh, <laughs> you don't have the supporting cast even if you are <laughs> oh yeah yeah you're you're 2019 LeBron James um Hold on. Am I getting the years right? I, I feel like I'm getting the year. Has it been... Hold on. 
That doesn't sound right. Is this the first year LeBron's in the Lakers? I, I don't know, man. The sports are hard to keep up with, especially if they, you know, stop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know why that one got me out of all the, the jokes I've said today. Um, that's the one. <laughs> if they just stop. Ay, ay, ay. I wonder how, how that's going to be, like the NBA season and all that. NHL, NFL, do they just continue on next year? I don't, I don't know, man. It's all crazy. All right. It's all crazy. I will uh, catch you on the next one, though. Hit that like, hit that sum, you know. Um, thank you so much for all your support. And uh, all you do, keep doing you. Be true to yourself. A.K. yeah. All right. I'll catch you on the next one. See you.